I think being able to go to sleep and not have your financial situation on your mind for me really is knowing that into the future we will have financial freedom and it's all about when we can get that. My name's Luke, I'm a sales director for an Australian tech company. And I'm Elise and I'm an occupational therapist. So with COVID hitting last year and seeing the effects it was having on so many different people, uh, it, it did make us take stock and recognise that we hadn't built up, uh, I guess, a, a safe fund for a rainy day. And that really was the catalyst for us to, to make contact with a financial advisor who had sort of marketed themselves to, to younger people or those in their 30s. Um, so we reached out to Glenn at Fox and & Hare and had a conversation around our goals and one of those was better budgeting for our household and making sure that we were setting in place, um, I guess, adequate funds to give us comfort should something happen. Yeah, I guess we were also not really aware of where our money was going. Um, we obviously had fixed expenses, but um, obviously there was a lot of variables that we weren't really on top of. So we just needed some support and assistance to know how to budget more effectively. The term that has resonated the most through our journey is financial freedom, right? We've got mm. sizable mortgage, um, probably more than what we'd like comfortably and I don't think that's abnormal for, for most of Sydney definitely yeah. but one of our key goals was to pay off our mortgage by the time we are 50. We want to be able to invest into different opportunities so that again we are starting to build potential wealth um, beyond our current incomes to support our lifestyle that we want. Yeah and I guess um, making sure we had enough saved up to ensure that our kids could go to schools we wanted them to go to and also just to be able to live comfortably not live paycheck to paycheck. On the flip side I suppose it's given us the tools for self-accountability which yeah, self -accountability. I guess accountability is, is the, the <laughs> key to success right is to be able to recognize where things are going in and out in terms of, yeah. of our accounts and then I suppose being able to, to recognize success and reward yourself for that. But what we did is sat down and identified what are our goals, both short term, medium term and long term. And then importantly, I think too for us, which really resonated was why, what was the, what was the reason for that goal? And through that, I suppose we were able to cover off the, the less uh, interesting administration sides of reviewing our superannuation and making sure that we've got the nest eggs in the, the right buckets or putting money in different accounts for different yeah. purposes. So that was a key one. You know, that, that's for us was four to five months of um, living expenses set aside. Making sure that our insurances and, and our, I suppose, a will and power of attorney were, were set in place, yeah. which, again, talking to a lot of friends of ours, is something that pe people we know haven't really considered and, no. and, and probably should from what we've learned through it. Um, now our strategy has shifted because now we're double that and so we're having conversations with Glenn around, well, if we've got all of this money sitting in the bank account and it's not earning any any interest or, or virtually nil interest, how do we make that work for us and make it work, work harder for us? So some of the investment options that we've explored are investment accounts through Vanguard, the ETF uh, traded accounts. Uh, we've got those set up for both our boys and we're also now exploring uh, the property market and looking at investment opportunities um, nationally. I actually think um our generation has a much greater ability to access financial information uh, in comparison to uh, older generations like my, my parents. So there are apps available or, or even the user interface on a lot of platforms now bode really well to, to younger people being able to understand what they're looking at and give them the tools and, and certainly done so for us to be able to make financial decisions and, and know what is happening in our financial world. Advice I would give to others uh, would be to act now, don't, don't wait. And uh, it, it is, I guess, powerful, the tools and frameworks that people who are in the know can provide that can really set you up. It doesn't matter your current situation now. There are plenty of the good stories out there around how people have turned things around and it's just getting, getting started, which can often be the toughest part. Yeah.